Being at high school, um, it's tough coming from high school because you get 78 mile per hour to 85 and you get one good pitcher throwing 92 and coming here into pro ball, first time I remember getting a Dominican throwing 98 with a crazy slider and I'm just like, oh my God. And then being like, you know, third rounder and stuff, everybody's expecting highly of you and those pitchers are just coming in and you feel like you're not doing your best and it just, it's a lot of, a lot of hard things you got to go through and stuff, but you, it's just all about adjustments now. That's just how I see the adjustments and just play your role. Don't try to do too much and just get after it. And I noticed, I mean, you're on the rankings of one of the top prospects in the men's organization. Like you said, the pressure, is that, that's a good kind of pressure, though. You'd rather be, I mean, I mean have I, that expectations on you. I love it. Uh, you know, it just makes me work harder. I'm still not satisfied. You know, you can never be satisfied. I want to get lower on that prospect list. Right now, they set me at 11, but hopefully by the end of the year, you know, get down there, just show everybody what I'm capable of and just prove everybody that I was drafted for a reason and just get after it. Like I said, work hard and just make everything the best for me and the best I could just prove my family that I'm working my hardest. And you're from Florida, right? Yes, yes, sir. Were, yes, sir. You, were you born in Florida? You... No, I was born in Columbia, South America. Okay. Yes, sir. And then I came here at the age of six. Um, Talk a little bit about that journey, how huh? that come about. It's a hard journey for me. Not everybody knows my story. Uh, I came from nothing, like I explained to the people that really know me. I came from living in a trailer in Hialeah Gardens, you know, going to school and everybody just saying, you're never going to make it. I was always a hyperactive kid, but I never got in trouble for bad stuff, just always for like being too hyper. Not everybody understood me. So everybody would always tell me, you're never going to make it, never going to make it. And that just pushed me. It's like fuel for my heart and it's fuel for my mind to work harder every day, never take one rep off. So coming from that, you know, with a family, moving here at the age of six, playing baseball. My dad always put me in a baseball team, always had good numbers. You know, my dad knew I was going to be good, but he didn't know I was going to get signed. So he's just there for me. He's my number one fan, man. I love my dad forever, you know, for being by my side, coming from Colombia. Just playing ball real hard and just got signed and it's a blessing. So you were, um, when you moved to Florida, were you with your parents, I mean, family or how that? Um, basically, I was in Columbia when my dad first got here. Okay. I was over there and I came to meet my dad when I was over here. Okay. When I first got here, I was over there with my mom. My dad asked for us We came. Like I said, I came at the age of six. They put me in the travel ball team, the Yankees. <laughs> I was in the Yankees at a young age. I got the pictures and all. My first season there as a Yankee, I hit like eight, 890, crazy numbers. Everybody was like, oh my God, who's this kid? Nobody knew me because I just came from Colombia. And then all the coaches started talking. They put me in the different team, travel ball, everything. I mean, I didn't have the money to afford it, but I had great people help me out. You know, a lot of people helped me out through high school, American Heritage, Florida Christian, all those schools, those private schools that I couldn't afford. They did it for me, you know, to give me a better opportunity in life, not just as a baseball player, but to be a better person in life. And all those schools helped me out very much, sir, and I'm thankful to all those people very much. Your parents still in Florida? Yes, sir. They're in Florida right now. My mom works and my dad works, too. They're over there. They hopefully come so I can fly them into the first game so they can see the beautiful stadium because pictures don't do it. You got to be here to know how it really feels. Yes, sir. Well, 